My name is Sarah Zarr, and I am the author of Story of a Girl, Sweethearts, and the upcoming Once Was Lost. I love writing these books, and I hope you enjoy reading them. I've changed a lot since I was in high school, but I feel like we all carry that 15-year-old around with us and the experiences we had in high school. So I think because I'm not super conscious or self-conscious of the audience, um, I'm able to tell the stories in a way that's emotionally authentic or I'm not thinking I, I'm writing to teenagers and I need to sound like a teenager. I've just noticed there's not that many young adult novels that that have a, a main character who has a sincere but conflicted kind of regular everyday religious faith. Once Was Lost is narrated by a 15 year old pastor's daughter who is sort of already in the midst of a crisis of faith when a 13-year-old girl in her small rural community is kidnapped. The book was partly inspired by a real-life crime that happened here in Salt Lake City. A girl named Elizabeth Smart was kidnapped from her house. And um, I started thinking, what if I were a teenager who maybe knew Elizabeth? How would that feel if it was challenging my faith? My first book, Story of a Girl, is about 16-year-old Deanna who when she was 13, had this experience with a much older boy, a friend of her older brother's, and this incident has still affected her relationship with her father, and with her whole family, but mostly with herself. And it's this journey of reconciling what happened. Being a National Book Award finalist was an incredible surprise and an incredible honor. My second book, Sweethearts, is most directly inspired by real life events. I had this childhood sweetheart named Mark and we lost touch after third grade and then got back in touch in our late 20s. Probably my greatest percentage of fan mail so far is about Sweethearts. A lot of girls name it as their second favorite book to Twilight. They love the idea of someone who's always thinking of them that there's this bond that can't be broken even when they're physically separated. For most writers, it was those experiences of childhood and adolescence that turned us into writers. Young adult fiction honors the adolescent experience. 